Good morning, church. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our Sunday morning worship service. My name is Rick Tetau. Thank you for allowing me to serve as your chaplain. Happy Father's Day. Yes. Somebody raised the question, what do you get somebody who has most everything they want? You're right. And my kids asked me, Dad, what do you want for Father's Day? And I said, ice cream. <laughs> what more is there? <laughs> so, chocolate peanut butter. <laughs> so, thank you for being here today. Some of you watch us online. Thank you for joining us. We have a special guest today. Randy's here with Patty and Mike, and so I'm going to allow Mike to say a few words of welcome to their friend Randy. Uh, Randy Parcell is someone that Patty and I knew in school at the Mind School many, many years ago. Randy is a piano tuner, and he is a very excellent piano tuner. And he has a number of interests, and so uh, just wanted to make sure he was introduced. And you all know my sister. Yep. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Patty. Mm -hmm. Hi. So, we, we, I heard we, Randy is the piano yeah. tuner for Elton John and some of the more famous wow. people. Wow. So, so wow. I always knew there was a reason he sounded so good. <laughs> so, just a couple announcements. First. Next Sunday, I will be at the Association of Professional Chaplains Annual Conference. So I will be here on Sunday. You are going to have a hymn sing. Okay. Uh, about six months ago, we planned a hymn sing. You remember, I asked you your favorite yeah. songs. Yeah. Many people were ill. There was about half the congregation was able to come. So I promised that we would do that again exact same songs. So Mike is going to be our primary worship leader next Sunday. So thank you, Mike, for taking oh, on you. that You're responsibility. Welcome. And also, since I'm not here next week, this is like a thank you in advance to the Masons. Yes. Tomorrow, I am being raised as a master Mason. So thank you for the Masons who have supported me on this journey. So with that, I welcome you one more time and say, let us prepare our hearts for worship. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It's a pleasure to see so many faces today. Now, if you'll join me in our call to worship found in your bulletin, it is good to give thanks to the Lord. To, to sing your praises in your name, O Most High. To declare your steadfast love in the morning. And, and your faithfulness in my night. And now our we'll first hymn today is This Is My Father's World on page 82 in the Big Songbook.
see God's answers to our prayers. We have been praying for those who have not felt well in recent days, and it's good to see some of them back with us today. Yes. We continue to pray for those we miss and hold in our hearts who are not feeling well. And then one person lifted up um, the heat. Uh, this week it's supposed to be exceptionally hot. So just pray for people that they um, are able to stay cool and hydrated and um, have the shelter that they need. With that, let us go to the Lord in prayer. Almighty God, on this Father's Day weekend, we pray for men here and around the world. We pray for the men in our lives that you make your ways known to them as they love their families, friends, and neighbors. We pray for the men who are leaders in our country, that they may serve with integrity and promote goodness and respect towards all people. We pray for the men of your church, O oh God, that they may be guided and empowered by your Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, we pray for all people in our families, our country, and our church, men, women, and children, who profess your name. Lead us all as a family of faith in the way of truth. Bring us closer together in faith and uphold us in your peace. Loving Father, we pray for those who are distressed by sickness and disease. May it be pleasing to you to comfort them in their suffering. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 And let us pray as Jesus first taught his disciples to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. We have some special music today. Uh, yes, we do. It's music which I compose. It's a hymn that we sang uh, some years ago. Charlie will remember. You other choir members will yeah. remember this. It's called Take Thou My Hand. Or I'm sorry, no. <laughs> Father, we thank thee who has planted. And so we're going to uh, do this right now for you.
So in the spring, farmers are busy planting their seeds, and now they are watching their fields grow. I believe watching plants grow is beautiful to behold. There is a field of sunflowers near Young's Dairy that blooms in the fall. All the sunflowers open to the morning sun and display their beautiful colors. Then in the afternoon, it is like the flowers will track the sun across the sky. Mm -hmm. I plant an herb garden on my back porch at home. My family enjoys the smells of lavender and peppermint. We use basil and oregano and dill in our cooking. And then we have seven cats. Whoa. So I have a catnip plant too. <laughs> and they will eat the leaves raw right off the plant. So the seed is one of God's miracles of life. If you ever feel discouraged, and question if your efforts in serving God are really making a difference. Remember that God has incredible power to make things grow out of the little that we have. Like the widow who gave two mites to God in her offering. Sometimes we can only offer God what little we have. But even then, God can bring forth miraculous growth. One time, a crowd of 5,000 people were following Jesus. There was no food for them to eat, and the people were hungry. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, There is a boy here who has five barley loaves and two fish. But what are they among so many? Jesus took the young boy's lunch of loaves and fishes, blessed it, and fed 5,000 people with it. This is known as the miracle of the loaves and fishes. Sometimes we offer God what little we have. It might be a handwritten note, a kind word, perhaps even a smile. God can take our offering and turn it into something special for that person. The Apostle Paul worked hard to plant a church in the city of Corinth. He had to till some rocky soil in people's hearts to help them overcome their divisions. This was necessary work to help them better understand their faith. One of their problems was that the people aligned themselves with either Paul or Apollos to the exclusion of the other. So if you were with Paul, you didn't talk to the other group. If you were with Apollos, you didn't talk to the other group. Paul had a division within the church. Paul writes in 1 Corinthians 3, For when one says, I belong to Paul, and another, I belong to Apollos, are you not merely human? What then is Apollos? What is Paul? Servants through whom you came to believe, as the Lord assigned to each. I planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the growth. The parable of the scattered seed reminds us that we need to do our part in spreading the seeds of faith we give God what we have in our prayers, gifts, and service. Then we watch as God gives the growth to His kingdom. And oh, what a miraculous harvest it will be. The next parable is the parable of the mustard seed. In this parable, Jesus asks, with what will we compare the kingdom of God? Or what parable will we use it for it? It is like a mustard seed, which when sown upon the ground is the smallest of all the seeds of the earth. Yet when it is sown, it grows up and becomes the greatest of all shrubs and puts forth large branches so that the birds of the air can make their nest in its shade. 
The mustard seed is a very small seed that grows quickly into a large bush. The parable of the mustard seed speaks to how small things in the kingdom of God can make a big difference. Today is Father's Day. There is a father in the Bible who is not quoted with saying one word in the whole Bible, but his decisions indeed change the world. This man is named Joseph. He is the earthly father of Jesus and the husband of Mary. Joseph is a man of strong beliefs and integrity. He wants to do what is right. He is a man who shows love and respect to those he cares about. Joseph is engaged to Mary when Mary tells Joseph that she is pregnant. Joseph knows the child is not his own. So Joseph decides to privately divorce Mary to spare her the disgrace of public humiliation. What he couldn't understand was that the child inside Mary is God's son. So God sends an angel to tell him that the child Mary carries with her is indeed God's own son. Joseph changes his plans to divorce Mary. He obeys God and he marries her. Joseph takes Mary as his wife. He raises Jesus as his own son. Joseph teaches his son the trade of carpentry and he takes his family on their annual pilgrimage to Jerusalem for Passover. Joseph is not quoted with one word in all the scriptures, and we don't know any more about him after they visited the temple when Jesus was 12 years old. However, his obedience to God, his care for his family, and the witness of his faith are anything but insignificant. The obedience, spiritual guidance, and faithfulness of Joseph changes the world. On this Father's Day, I thank God for all men who live with quiet integrity like Joseph. Joseph's, Joseph's part in Jesus' story may seem small, like a mustard seed, but God uses it to bless the world. So church, do not underestimate the impact of your presence, gifts, and service. If you have faith, even the size of a mustard seed, God can move mountains. God will bless all of your offerings, all of your efforts, to bring glory to His name. Friends, may we spread seeds of faith through our words and deeds. May we nurture these seeds of faith in the living water of God's love. And may we provide support and care to one another and to the community here at Springfield Masonic. And then, may we watch by the power of the Holy Spirit as God gives the growth. May it be so. Amen. So thank you for being here. We have one more hymn. It's called Faith of Our Fathers, number 107 in your song. <laughs>
I thank God for the many ways you give back to God for blessings received. Let us give praise to God by singing the doxology. Thanks, Amen. 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 